You're texting an important friend. You see they've read your message but they don't reply. A minute passes, then five, then an hour. You start feeling uneasy, wondering, did I do something wrong? Why are they ignoring me? We've all been there, feeling frustrated, anxious, or disappointed when things don't go as expected. Even though we know they might just be busy, our emotions still spiral out of control. But why does this happen? Is there a way to manage our emotions better? In this video, we'll explore why emotions so easily influence our actions, and most importantly, how to take control so we don't get caught up in negative thoughts. Let's dive in. Emotions are a natural part of being human. They shape how we react, make decisions, and connect with others. Fear kicks in when you hear a sudden loud noise, making you jump back before you even have time to think. Joy fills you when a friend surprises you with a meaningful gift. Even anger can be useful, like when someone cuts in line and you speak up to defend your rights. But here's the problem. When emotions take over, they can cloud your judgment, damage relationships, or make you say things you'll later regret. But if emotions are a natural part of being human, why do we struggle to control them? Our brain has an automatic emotional control system, the limbic system, with the amygdala acting as the command center for emotions. This part of the brain is responsible for triggering intense feelings of fear, anger, or excitement. That's why when you encounter something scary, your heart starts racing before you even have time to think. On the other hand, we have the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain that helps regulate emotions and make rational decisions. But here's the problem. The amygdala reacts almost instantly, while the prefrontal cortex takes time to process logic. This gives emotions the upper hand, like an emergency alarm system going off before reason has a chance to step in. And here's the interesting part. Our emotions aren't just random reactions. They are the result of millions of years of evolution. Long ago, our ancestors relied on emotions to survive. Fear helped them run from predators, Anger gave them the strength to fight threats, and anxiety kept them alert to dangers in their surroundings. These emotional responses were crucial for survival in the wild. But times have changed. Today, we no longer have to evade wild animals or fight for territory. Instead, we face work stress, social media, and daily life pressures. The problem? Our brain still reacts the same way, triggering intense emotions even when the threat is no longer a matter of life and death. That's why an ignored text, a disapproving look, or a negative comment online can make us feel overly anxious or angry, because deep down, our brain is still wired for survival, not for adapting to modern life. Our ability to control emotions isn't just influenced by how our brain works, it's also shaped by our environment and upbringing. If someone grows up in a household where anger and frustration are the norm, or where emotions are ignored rather than discussed, they may never truly learn how to regulate their feelings. Instead, they might either suppress everything or let emotions explode at the wrong moments. Society and culture influence how emotions are expressed. In Japan, emotional control is the norm. People are taught to stay calm, even when angry. In contrast, in the US, openly expressing emotions is common, with people speaking their minds directly. Emotions aren't just a psychological matter. They are deeply connected to brain chemistry and hormones. When you're stressed, your body releases cortisol, also known as the stress hormone. In moderate amounts, it helps you react quickly to danger. But if cortisol levels remain high, like when you're constantly anxious or angry, it weakens your ability to regulate emotions, making you more prone to losing control. Then there's dopamine and serotonin, two key chemicals that help regulate mood. When they are balanced, you feel stable and in control of your emotions. But if their levels drop, you may become irritable, anxious, or even feel inexplicably sad. When life is filled with pressure, whether it's work deadlines, financial struggles, or conflicts in relationships, the brain shifts into survival mode. Instead of thinking logically, it prioritizes emotional responses. That's why, under stress, even minor issues can trigger strong emotions like getting frustrated with a coworker over a small mistake or feeling exhausted after a simple argument. If stress persists, 
it wears down the brain's ability to regulate emotions, making it harder to stay calm and think rationally. Chronic stress and anxiety can take a toll on you, leading to burnout or even depression. Uncontrolled anger or sadness can strain relationships, causing friends, family, or a partner to drift away. So, if managing emotions feels difficult, what can we do to handle them better? To control emotions, we first need to understand them. Often, we react without even realizing what we're truly feeling. So, start by labeling your emotions. For example, if you're feeling frustrated, don't just think, I'm angry. Instead, ask yourself, why am I angry? Is it due to stress, disappointment, or exhaustion? A simple way to recognize emotions is by keeping an emotion journal. You can write down situations that make you feel angry, sad, or anxious. For example, you might notice that you feel stressed every Monday morning, or anxious whenever you receive a message from your boss. When you understand what triggers your emotions, you'll find it easier to manage them. Instead of letting anger or stress control you, try these simple yet effective ways to stay calm and regain control. First, take a deep breath. It may sound simple, but it really works. When you're stressed or angry, your body tenses up and your breathing becomes fast and shallow. Slow, deep breaths send a signal to your brain that you need to relax, helping to reduce stress and prevent impulsive reactions. Next, try meditation. You don't have to sit for hours. Just a few minutes of focusing on the present can make a difference. Meditation trains your brain to stay calm, improving emotional control and reducing anxiety and stress over time. And if you feel like you're about to lose your temper, try the five second countdown technique. Instead of reacting immediately, count down five, four, three, two, one. This short pause gives your brain a chance to reset allowing you to respond more calmly and thoughtfully. If you're constantly surrounded by negativity, whether it's toxic people, stressful situations, or bad habits, staying calm becomes much harder. That's why it's important to limit your exposure to negativity. At the same time, build positive habits that help you stay balanced. Exercise isn't just good for your body. It also boosts your mood and reduces stress. Listening to music, reading, or spending time in nature can also help you relax and regain your sense of calm. Sometimes, self-regulating your emotions isn't enough, and that's completely okay. If negative emotions become overwhelming and start affecting your daily life, seeking professional help is a smart and necessary step. Whether it's therapy, counseling, or simply talking to someone who truly listens, getting yeah. support can make a huge difference in how you process and manage your emotions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss any new content. Thank you for watching.